Hey everyone, Lane from Next Gen Marine and Outdoors. Today we're talking about how to order a Gator Tracks boat. Uh, Next Gen actually just placed an order on a Gator Tracks boat, so we'll actually have a boat on the rivers here in East Idaho really soon. So what I want to do is I actually want to dive into the computer here. I want to show you the ordering process. It's a little different than ordering most boats, um, but it was actually pretty easy, and uh, they're really super helpful there at Gator Tracks. Um, we appreciate them. Um, there's only really a couple negatives of the whole experience, and it's really, really small stuff. Um, so come with me, and we'll go over that now. Okay, looks like we're recording. So now we're going to go over how you order a Gator Tracks boat. Let's start with what you probably should first do, and probably if you have looked at Gator Tracks boats, which you have done, let's go over to photos. So for my example, I ordered a center console. So we go over to the photos, hit center console. Wait for that to pull up. This is shot raw, so we're just gonna go through it together to try and keep it semi-short. All right, that took long enough, huh? Okay, so here we go. So you look at sizes, you look at pictures and designs. That's kind of what I did. I kind of knew what size I wanted, which was a 1754. And you can go ahead and you can look at all different boats. So we're gonna do a 1754 here and kind of go through pictures here. You kind of look and see how they come, and they're custom. If you've seen any of uh, Kent's videos, you'll know that they uh, allow you to do quite a bit um, changes and everything. So I'm not going to go too far into all that today, but I will show you how you would quote this boat. So if you decided, okay, I want a 1754, they have a nifty little quote system here. So you'll go to Fleet. We're just going to do the GT for my sake this is how you do it the strike series is a little different it looks like you'll have to like email them and call them what you want to get an exact quote they kind of just have a quick quote in like the strike series but i did a gt so we're gonna do a gt here you scroll down 17 foot length 54. okay standard versus hybrid so they actually have a video on this the uh, hybrid deck is going to have more of a mod v front end and then a v going down to the bottom of the boat Whereas the standard is going to be your traditional flat bottom square nose coming down. So more like this boat here where you can see the square on there. So, so you had a 1754. I did a hybrid. I did go up to the 21 inch sides. The standard is 19 inches. I'm going to be going over rocks. So I did the 316s hole. I removed location. I'm going to be in river most of the time, pretty shallow. And then added the hunt deck. And then the hunt deck actually adds to the boat. So even though it's a 1754, you're going to end up about 18.8 on the total length. And so if you go to 19 foot, you know, it's going to keep increasing, vice versa, any size that you get. So, okay, so we have that selected there. So we can see our hull, bear hull is 12,379. Right here, you have add to quote. We're going to go ahead and add that. Okay, motors. So on the 1754, it seems like this is going to, this is something that maybe Gator Trek should uh, kind of better illustrate for people that are ordering boats as motor ratings because it seems like it's, there's no formula on what to go in. So but it seems like the 1754 when I was ordering it is 115 is going to be the max size for that model. So I went with the Mercury. So I actually went with the Mercury 
11580 jet, which they don't have on here. It would be nice if they had that cost on here. So for worst for pro options was we'll go down to here. Go to remote because I'm gonna have a steering wheel. Add to quote. So now basically you have a haul with a 115 trailer. I did the it's kind of the, the they did it standard over there. Brian over Gator Tracks did a Tennessee trailer. It looked like they put on there. So we go over to Tennessee trailers. So that goes by weight. Um, for the 1754 standard, it was the 2650 trailer, single axle. Here's kind of going to be your standard features on the trailer that it comes with. Have the model selected. We know our whole width is a 54. Single axle. I believe for the 1754, we don't have to do the increase 18 foot or longer, 150 charge. I don't believe that was on mine, but it may have been. I did the rear buckle tie downs because you just, I, I can't have a boat with that one anymore. I uh, did not do a swing tongue. Did do a safe a swing tongue. Didn't upgrade much else. Didn't upgrade. I did add the aluminum wheels. I believe I did the standard spare. I don't really care if the spare matches that much. I didn't add aqua armor. So we have the trailer to quote. And actually, we will go and go over to my quote once this is finished and I will show you kind of there's some things that you just can't quote on here you're going to have to get a hold of Gator Tracks um, I'm going to show you how to do that versus just calling you can email also so we'll start at the top on options and accessories shallow water anchors so basically I'll scroll through your options here you can add any shallow water anchor that you need. And keep in mind, this is to keep get a rough idea how much your boat's going to cost. You might miss options that you need for your shallow water anchors, like the welded on tabs, um, things like that. Boat blinds, and you know, for duck hunting, I didn't do any of that. Decks and storage. So decks and steps, you, there's plenty of options in there. Trolling more foot trade, keep in mind that adds a foot to your front deck when you want to add that. Um, so I did add it. So just depending on how much space you want in the boat. But you'll go through all your options here. And the way that you look at this like permanent rear deck is you're going to go to your photos and select in there. Okay, so once you go through all your options, you're going to come over and you can click on here. So motorboat trailer 28 by 38, you know, and as you had options, of course, that's going to go up from there. So let me show you, once you contact them, let's go ahead and view cart. Once you have most of the options that you think you want, click view cart. Let's see, check out. Keep in mind, you're not ordering these. You are sending in a quote, so right here, submit a quote. So you're gonna put in your name, address, you know, all that info there, you know, give them all your info. It's easier for them if they can contact you to iron this out. They will call you and go over the boat with you and walk you through this whole process. Okay, so now we're gonna get to a negative thing. So if I go to the photos here, you're on center console albums, and I'm going through these pictures here. I'm going to show you the email that kind of correlates with this. As we scroll down, you're going to see like flooring. Okay, there are some things in these pictures that you can't do, basically, is what I learned. Um, I wish they'd be a little clear about that. Maybe take on the photos of the boats that, or put a disclaimer on them. So the biggest deal for me is it wasn't a huge deal. I still ordered the boat, but it is kind of a gripe, is I wanted this flooring here. So you can see it's a teak style flooring. And I'll show you the email when I emailed about adding that to the build. 
So here we are. We are Brian at GatorTracksBoats.com. He was my salesman. He is awesome. He's very informative. He will definitely, you know, help you get your boat all ironed out. Just let me just find that email real fast. As of right now, the shipping charges. If you want to get the boat from Louisiana to someplace else where you don't have a dealer, like I'm up in Idaho, if you have Gator Trash shipping, it's going to be 142 a mile at this point, which was uh, 119. Um, of course, that can change with gas prices and all the other variables that are going on right now. So keep that in mind versus going to pick it up. So here's the email. So you can go through this, but adding clear code to the boat, you know, just all the options and everything. Okay, so here's the turf email. So you can go that, you know, reason for that being it is a different texture than our normal turf, and I'll show you the textures of their normal turf and what they do. So they've had a hard time keeping it clean is basically why they won't let you do that. I think it dresses up the boat a lot more, which is why I wanted it. I think it would look good on the boat. Um, You'll see, you know, my boat's going to come out to about 52, 53,000. You know, this is, if you watch the videos on this being a custom boat and, you know, they'll do this, they'll do that. It sounds like they'll do anything. So I think they need to be better about disclaimers about this flooring isn't available anymore um, for a particular reason, whatever it is, just so you know, because it is kind of upsetting when you go to order it and they're like, hey, you can't get this, which you kind of build up in your mind that you want it. So if there's a gripe about it, that would be the gripe, just being more clear about what they can and can't do or won't do. Um, I would like this kind of flooring. I'll probably end up in a year or so taking it off and putting on a you know custom C-Deck kit because of that. Um, the normal flooring, we can go to options here, whole add-ons. Of course, there's tons of options in here. What you can do, the best thing to do is to talk to these guys about, you know, what are you going to use the boat for, etc. So here's our hide and turf options. So basically, these are their proprietary colors. So you got their back to basics. This is what I got. My boat hull colors will be black. Um, I kind of like how that goes with it. So that's what I end up going with. And then this is their textures you see on a lot of their boats. So these are basically your options for flooring, so don't go by the pictures on flooring. You will be frustrated when they tell you that they can't or won't do it. Um, so those are your color options. I wish there was more. I think, you know, if you're paying 50000 for a custom boat, you, in the Sea Deck world, I get it if it was carpet. You know, things have to be glued and laminated down, but Sea Deck's so easy to do, custom. Um, it's not, you know, the, as far as like a custom cut and everything, I get that. These boats are very different and how boxes are laid out and everything. You couldn't have a laser image of each one, but as far as patterns go, I think I should get that, be able to get that teak pattern for $50,000. So that's my gripe. Obviously did not start me from ordering the boat. So there's your options on flooring. So we'll go over to the email. So once you submit your quote, Brian's going to email me and we will go to through the revised ones to where I pretty much got to the end of my build and then I'll show you the end build here. Okay, so they're going to send you a form like this, which will have the breakdown of the boat. So read this right here. Quote good for 30 days, deposit non-refundable. The biggest part of that is quote is good for 30 days. And this was on 2-11-2022. 2022. So pricing may differ if you order a boat in a month or two. Price increases have hit every boat manufacturer, every boat dealership, they're increasing like wildfire due to the supply chain issues and just the cost of goods right now. So keep that in mind. Also, you're planning on order a boat, order it and get a deposit on it as soon as possible before they do go up in price because more than likely motors will go up in price, etc. with what's going on. So basically this is what my boat came out to final price. You'll see there's a little bit of difference because I added the recessed trolling motor tray if I'm not mistaken on my quote after that. So, but then, so basically you just go down from here and give your whole size. They kind of scroll through here so you can go through itemize everything and what it all costs. And the cost matches what it is on the Gator Track site. And I'll kind of go through and show you what's not on there as far as what you'll need to get quoted when you build your boat. And there's tons of videos on Gator Tracks' website of what catwalks are and all the configurations you can do. So that's just another thing to check out Gator Tracks and 
talk to them and they will kind of go over with you and just find a boat to suit your particular needs. Going down, okay, so now we're at the trolling motors. So they don't have trolling motors, they don't have graphs on their website as far as cost goes. So as of this date, to 11.22, this was the cost of getting a Garmin Force trolling motor installed on the boat. Onboard charger, I didn't even ask the brand of that. I'm sure it's a good brand, I don't really worry about that. And then I'm getting an Echomac chirp on the console. I'm gonna add a bow graph later. And these are the Raptor eight foot blades I added. This is the price of two. Again, that is on their website, so you could add two to cart, and it's going to be pretty much spot on. So we'll keep scrolling down here. Okay, so the 115 Merc Jet, as of this time here, is 11250 and then this is the cost of the hydraulic steering, So, which is, there's other options for you. I like the hydraulic steering. So here are these options right here on the trailer that I added. Black boat, got it clear coated. So clear coat I did not see on the uh, website. So this is the cost of clear coat as of right now. And then regular black, um, I think a regular solid color looks like it's all included in the price of the boat. Um, if you had to add camo, it does add cost to the boat. Here's the cost of the hydro turf here. And here's another thing going back to the floor. You know, you're paying $1,000 to have floor installed. You know, even if they have a hard time keeping it clean, I think we should get the floor that we want. It's just my personal opinion. So that was that was the only letdown of this whole experience was that floor. Fuel tank's gonna correlate with the motor, it seems like. Um, 18 gallons with a 115.80 jet is plenty for me. It's gonna get me everywhere I need to go. Hydraulic jack plate, you can go with or without that with a jet. I like the idea of running a hydraulic jack plate, so it's on there. Lots of lighting you can add. And then at the bottom, here's where you can get an idea of your boat layout. So this is going to be your boat layout that they draw up here. So you got power pole brackets, pulling platform. I did a live well back here in the rear, so this will be the next gen marine outdoors boat. Two batteries up front. I am going to run a 24 volt system on my Garmin. They can also do 36 volt, which is awesome. So if I decide I need more power because of the rivers up here, I can add a third battery down here somewhere in the storage. I added a 24 inch extended front deck and then a one foot section for the uh, trolling motor pedal. I'm gonna do a cooler in front of my console as a seat up there and then I'm gonna have a lean post for me to sit on back here. So hopefully this kind of covers some confusion um, if there is any on ordering these boats and just getting them quoted if you're not ready to talk to somebody yet. You can easily go to their website. You just add things to cart like you're going to order them and it takes you to a quote. I highly suggest talking to them. Um, they'll walk you through the entire process. All right, so we made it through that. <laughs> so hopefully you got some new you know, ideas out of that. Um, I want to stress that the experience Gator Tracks was absolutely awesome. Brian did a phenomenal job of going over everything. Uh, our email correspondence went on for about a month before I ordered the boat. Um, and I had actually communicate with them years prior too. So it's been a building process to get this boat ordered for next gen. Uh, we are absolutely excited. Uh, if you're looking for a boat and you need some custom stuff done, Gator Tracks is the way to go. And I think if you don't even need custom stuff done, Gator Tracks is the way to go. They build a phenomenal boat. Everything I see about them has just been above par. Um, I've sold boats the last eight years, a lot of them in the bass boat world. And Gator Tracks is making a fine product, and I think they're only going to grow from here. Um, with that being said, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.